Hello gamers, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Type 62. This is one of four workshop tanks that you could build during the Metal Wars event. And it's the one I chose, obviously. Uh, I played it as a rental a year ago last fall. I really enjoyed it. It was a Twitch Prime rental. I really enjoyed the tank, and I was actually thinking of getting it. Chose not to. And then that turned out to be a really good decision when I was able to get it during the Diamond Industry event. So the map here is Highway. Um, this is obviously into the new pink system, so I've let my team know I am going towards, I think it's called like the, I don't know what that location is actually called. Uh, what they what they like to call it. I guess, no, I just painted out my own location, it's not one of the main locations, so I don't know what it's called. Um, the Type 62 is an interesting light tank. So it's a light tank, but it plays a lot like a medium tank. So. Uh, the T23 E3 is one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite 27 tanks, and this tank plays actually kind of similarly to that medium tank because you have the you have the armor, you have I mean, no, you have the armor. You've got, you've got the 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 DPM. This gun's a really good gun. It's 180 alpha. It's an 85 millimeter gun. I actually really love 85 millimeter guns. So, I'm sitting in this bush in the middle, and I am looking to spot this challenger. That was actually the Spear Panzer 1C spot, but now he's dead, and now this is all my spots. I'm a little bit of the setter, but this tank is very good. Like a lot of Chinese lights, it's very good at aggressively taking out other light tanks. This tank will dominate and rip apart pretty much any other um, tier 7 light tank. Obviously, low tier ones as well. It, it just it rips them apart. The DPM is really good. The alpha is just good enough that you don't feel like you need to constantly sit in the open and shoot, but also low enough that you have the way to fire to put multiple shots in. It's a really, really good gun. I really love the gun. The gun handling is really good. The gun depression is not very good. That is the one downside of this tank, but I feel like the positives of the gun and the tank overall make up for it. And you can see I've uh, put on the Chinese New Year style on this tank. I think it looks really nice. I actually really liked it. I didn't know it had a restriction a few years back when it, uh, the second time it came out. And I was gonna get it. And I got it. Spent most of my event currency on it. And then realized I don't have any Chinese tanks and I can't put it on the tank I was, tanks I was gonna put it on. Um, so I finally have a use for this camera now, which is really nice. It's a really nice style. Um, the Spear Panzer one standing enemy team is aggressively pushing up uh, towards me. So I'm kind of nervous about this. Uh, Archula hits me there. I put a shot on the Type 59, another dangerous uh, Chinese tank. And then I'm looking to get for the finish. I am stunned. That that was actually a shot that hit like the side front of his turret, so like an impossible angle to pen. Um, even if he had really high penetration. And now I have cover here, and now the Spear of Panther is trying to get away, so I put a shot in. You can see the snapshot ability of this tank is just there. I can just, it, the gun handling feels so good. I love this tank so much. A shot into the setter there. Now the Spear Panther was taken out, so now I can decide to kind of push in a little bit. So I'm waiting for the moment, right moment. And I poke out, line up the shot, to the wall because I can't see. An MX 1375 puts a shell into me, so I'm trying to hide. I can see it's like a, a gap in the windows, like right here, and I kind of don't want to get shot through that, so I'm kind of aware of this. So now I'm just kind of, uh, I feel comfortable playing back up here. Now, my team's pushed up to kind of this position now, so now I feel comfortable making a more aggressive play. I'm up to 700 damage and a lot of spotting. One of my highest spotting games in this tank. I actually don't tend to get a lot of spotting in this tank. I generally rely more on my actual damage and um, putting lots of damage in. I also have a Type 64, but I much prefer this tank. This tank is so much more fun to play. I know it's not as good tier for tier, but this tank is its way more fun. I actually really like playing this uh, ridge line here, so like moving up to this kind of position at the E8 kind of position. Now I have rear shots. I'm trying to put the shot in. That one missed. I have side shots and rear shots on some of these tanks. I'm trying to find the right angles. That's when I spot the artillery. It's actually a really funny moment here. So I'm kind of moving in. The game's not going. Like, that one needs to be fully driving on the move. Not the greatest. Uh, but it's a 2-7 tank. I mean, you can't do much. So there, he 
he hits me for uh, 300 damage, it's a big hit. I put one into him, and then I don't have my repair kit, so I actually can't. Um, do I kill a 1375? But now I don't know whether or not he's loaded. In hindsight, I probably should have pushed him, but there's no guarantee I would have gotten the one shot. And at this point, he's in, he's in, there's a chance he might be loaded. So I don't know if he is or is, is not loaded, and so I don't want to go around this corner. So we spent actually quite a while here just kind of waiting to see who's going to make the first stupid mistake and die. If I've been thinking, I could have just gone around, but at the time I wasn't. So I'm just kind of chilling here. We've kind of pushed all the way around. All the way around um, the thing. So he's making moves. I'm a little worried. Finally, I decided he's moving so much. I feel comfortable putting a shot and not being fully yanked. I'll take that chance. And I shot first. And uh, I won that engagement. Now I'm just, just trying to. I'm a one shot. But at this stage of the game, I'm just kind of trying to get as much damage as possible. Already a really, really good game. So I'm trying to look for the shot. I bounce off his turret. Now I'm trying to loot the shell past my uh, friendly uh, Type 59. Put another one there. Then I'm ready to start aiming in at this AMX. That one bounced off his turret. Now he, right about now, is going to figure out that I am a, a low light tank that's pounding him in the side. So I'm putting another shell in. Now he's like, okay, he's tracking me and putting one on the side. So I'm going to aim at him, but it did not work. I managed to get 4 kills, 1684 damage, and 1638 spotting. My best game in the Type 64. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Stay safe.